believe everybody that Brent's cat is anything like as flat as my cat. I believe my cat to be the flattest cat in all the land. From here, from the south of Cape Gullis to the northernmost tip of Africa, I believe this to be the flattest cat that there is on this great continent. Eight and a half thousand kilometers end to end, five and a half thousand kilometers from east to west. That there is the flattest cat in Africa but for perhaps a dead one somewhere. The reason we're sitting here, of course, is because unlike Brent Leo Smith, I have not seen 36 lions over the last day. In fact, I haven't seen 36 lions this week. I haven't seen 36 lions this month or indeed this year. This is the first lion I have seen in a goodly while. And so I don't care that it's flat. It's frankly, as long as it is a lion, it can lie there for as long as it likes. I'm going to look at it because there is one of the Birmingham boys. And of course, well, when you have a lion out here right now, you sit with it, no matter what. Now, I'm being slightly facetious, of course, but as you watch the round leaf, teak leaf, on the top right-hand side of your picture there, you may be able to see that the light is beginning to fade on it. And I think within, oh, I think, what, within about 20 minutes' time, that light will have gone completely and the lion may then get up and uh, instead of lala steam, which it's doing now, it may kala steam, which means to cry powerfully. In other words, roar. So that would be quite nice. So I think we'll just sit here for a little while. If he doesn't do anything once the sun, gone, the sun has gone down, we'll start making our way back towards home but I think that he may get up and do something useful. We also have a lovely view of the sun set, don't we? Shall I just turn slightly? I'm just, can you get it? Yeah. Fergus is very skilled. I'm sorry about the pole. There we are a little bit boxed in by people here, so it's a bit difficult, but there's a lovely picture of the sun going down on the southern parts of Africa. Oh, um, <laughs> and the chit were masked. I didn't see that when I told Fergus to turn towards it. Well done, Fergus. <laughs> there we are. There's the sun going down. Now, we were, in fact, it's going to be much less than 20 minutes, of course, as we know. The sun will take roughly four minutes, or between two and a half, let's count it now, between two and a half and three and a half minutes from the time it touches the horizon to the time it completely disappears. Has it touched the horizon yet, Ferg? Not just yet. Right, let's just wait and see what it does. As soon as this chap is out of the sighting, I'm going to move forward and we'll have another watch. You may start your stopwatches now. Begin your stopwatches. I'm just going to wait for him to move and then I will move forward a bit. Just a few of his guests have been left on a Zizifus tree, so he's returning to pick them up. Right, there we go. Let me just sneak forward. I hope you've started your stopwatches. We're going to get a good view of him from anywhere. Sorry, Ferg. I know I'm making this extremely difficult for you. <laughs> okay, we get a view of both of them now. All right, let's watch the sun now. The lion has not moved so much as a hair. Now you started your stopwatches, did you? It's almost gone. say just to be around a lion right now is very pleasant indeed because there have been so very few and far between of late
there is a spider. Is there a spider there? No. I thought there might be a spider also enjoying the sunset there, but there doesn't seem to be. It's almost gone, everyone, and then we'll move around and see if we can't get a slightly better view of this Lalashtim lion. I love how when it gets to this stage you can actually see it moving. It is just astonishing. Look at that. And no matter how you might want it to stay, of course, it never will. And there we go. It's gone. How long did that take, Louise? There it's gone. Ah. Louise is going to wait for a viewer to let us know. I hope there is a viewer who timed it. I was going to start a stopwatch and then I had to move the car. Painted Wolf, you said two minutes. Okay, well that's great. Marvellous. Well done. I th there is the mast again. Beautiful picture of the mast that unfortunately has not fallen down. Okay, let's go a little bit around the corner here. The lion is there. And while we do that, I believe that as the sun has gone down, so the bushwalk wishes to bid you a fond farewell for the duration of the rest of the drive.